I just finished book three of the Akatar series. Um, this is going to be, I have so many thoughts. These are my thoughts on book three. Um, these are going to be full of spoilers. So if you have not read this book or you have not read the series, do not watch this. Do not watch this. Keep scrolling. Go to the next video. Um, but if you have read these, uh, I would love to hear your thoughts, your opinions on everything because, oh my God, I love this one. I love this one. I know that everybody says the book two is the best. Everybody loves book two, but I, this was it for me. This was it. This was jam packed from beginning to end. So many characters. There was so much more going on. Book two, I got to tell you, the first half was very slow for me. I, I almost kind of got bored in the beginning of book two and I only kept reading because so many people were like book two is the best book two is the best and I was like okay okay so I just kept reading and then finally you're right the the end of that book was fantastic made up for the slow beginning so it was great I loved it all, all of it I loved the chapter where they were in the inn I loved chapter 54 chapter 55 it was great it was great but this one I liked this one better. I love this one. Um, so I just finished. Um, last night I did. Um, I could not make a video last night because I was a crying mess. A sobbing. I My shirt was like drenched with tears. I had tissues everywhere. I was like a mess last night. So I was like, you know what? I can't talk about this book until I've recovered a little bit. So it's been a few hours um, since I finished it. Um, but oh my God, oh my God, the surreal dying that fucking killed me. Oh God, that and the bone carver dying. Those two, I don't know why, but those two deaths freaking killed me. I mean, I was sobbing. I always do this. I always get attached, um, to like non-human creatures or animals who are loyal in movies and books like for example in Harry Potter remember Dobby the elf um when he died I fucking lost it I, I just I could not deal with it I, I named my dog after Dobby okay um that's how I, I like I just love them and the surreal also was one of those those characters where I was I loved him and um when he died I just I couldn't I couldn't take it um and the bone carver, when he died, I was also very emotional, which was weird because he's kind of a, he was kind of a creepy character throughout this book. And he, he was in book two also, right? He was kind of a creepy character. Um, but for some reason, when he died and he looked over at Feyre and gave her that last smile, I just lost it. I just lost it. And, um, and his sister died too. Um, so it was horrible uh yeah but I'm hoping I'm still hopeful though because they are the bone carver and his the weaver are death gods right so I'm hoping that it doesn't mean it's the actual end for them or maybe I don't know I don't know what it means but I feel like they're probably very happy now because they are on the death side or something like that I don't know I don't know but um it'll be interesting to see what happens with their third sibling, right? Cause they've got, they've got a brother out somewhere. Right. And so we'll see if the brother, the sibling plays a part in future books. Yeah. The battle, the battle. Oh my gosh. I loved it. I loved the whole thing. Um, I loved when Rysan, I know it's Rysand. I, okay. I, I butcher these names, but I don't care in my mind. He's Rysan. So I'm going to continue saying that. Um, but I loved his, um, like his pep talk before the battle, it, that one, I was already crying during then. Um, but then when the horn sounded and Tamlin and the autumn court and Grayson's human army showed up, I was freaking, I was like screaming. I was not expecting them to show up. And when they did, it felt like I was watching like the Avengers Endgame movie, you know, where everybody good like shows up to fight the bad guy. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> I was so excited when they showed up and then Dracon and Miriam showed up. Um, and then the dad, the dad showed up, which I'm going to be honest with you. I thought that was kind of a stretch, you know, like, okay, like I'm happy that that 
you know, the Autumn Court showed up. I'm happy that Dracon and Miriam's army showed up. When, but when the dad did, I was like, come on. Come on, Sarah J. Ma Mass. Mass? Sarah J. SJM. Come on. That's a stretch. This guy was a deadbeat dad for how many years? Like, he didn't do shit. Shit for his girls that whole time. And all of a sudden, he can lead a whole bunch of human armies now? Like, I don't know. I found it a little bit hard to believe, but you know, I was, I still got emotional when he showed up and he had those ships that were named after his three girls. I was like, oh, he named them after Farah. I was, you know, I was very emotional. Um, but at the same time, I was like, I don't really believe this. And then when he died, I was like, all right, yeah, let's just, let's just move on. Like I, I was not, um, I was able to move on pretty quickly from his death, to be honest, but I was a little bit confused about what happened with Amran. okay? Her and Feyre were busy walking down to the cauldron during the battle. And um, I was reading so fast at the end of this book because I was so excited and scared. And I was like freaking out about Cassian and everything. And I wanted to know what was going to happen. So I was reading very quickly. So I kind of missed what happened with Amran, But I know they, they got to the cauldron and she kind of like threw the book and was like, oh, I lied. And I was like, what? Like, what, what, what? Like, I didn't really, like, what? I didn't get it. Um, so if you guys can explain it to me, that would be great. Um, but it's fine. She turned out saving the day, right? She just got rid of all of Highburn's man, got rid of all of his ships and called it a day. And then at the end, she was, she was brought back as a high fae. So um, I love Amran. I like her. I like Amran. Um, Feyre, you know, I was really, I was actually kind of disappointed that we didn't get her to see her fight in this battle. Um, because I, you know, she's got, she, she, she's a badass. Um, remember when Valaris, is that how you say it? Valaris? Valaris? Remember when they attacked, Hybern attacked Valaris in book two? Remember what she did? Like, she came out and she was doing those water wolves. She was making those water wolves and doing all this shit with all her powers. And then she was on the back of the actor in the, in the sky. And, and, you know, she's a fighter. She, she, she's got some skills. And so I was really excited to see um, what she was going to do during the battle. But she didn't do shit, you know. She was just her and Amber walking toward the cauldron the whole time. So, you know, I was kind of sad about that. Um, but... But she was able, oh, here's another thing. She put the um, cauldron back together with her, using her power and Rysan's power, right? They both did it together to kind of put the cauldron back together. And I just thought that was kind of, I was just surprised that that was all it took to put the cauldron together. Because in my mind, the cauldron is this like, this very, very special, powerful thing, right? That's been around for thousands and thousands of years. And I thought to put it together, it would have required much more, whether it's all the high lords doing something or, you know, a, a witch's spell or something. I just thought that it would, that's the thing what I've noticed reading these books is sometimes I feel like the magic and the powers in Prithian in, in, in this book, um, they're sometimes like inconsistent. Is, is that the word? Like there are scenes where Rysand or even Tamlin, they can just snap their finger and like change the whole fucking room. Like they can do all this magic with just a snap of a finger. And then there are other times when, you know, they don't do, they don't have the option of using their magic. And I'm like, why can't they use their magic? Like, why can't, why can't they just snap their finger and kill the King of Hybern right there? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I, I can't figure out when they can use the magic and when they can't. And so I was surprised that all it took to put together the cauldron was, was Feyre and Rysan's power. I mean, of course it took all of Rysan's power, right? It killed him. That was crazy too. Holy shit. Um, yeah, that was, you know, I was a mess when he died but at the same time I knew I didn't think that they would let him die there I was still hopeful and I was like you know what I bet you they'll bring him back and they did so uh, I was right about that um but I was surprised that they were able to put the cauldron back and my other question is um 
since it was Feyre and Rysand that put the cauldron back together, like, is this going to be a different kind of cauldron now? Like, is it going to be the same as it was before? Does Elaine still have, is she still going to be able to have the visions because she's connected to the cauldron or is she not connected to this new cauldron anymore? Same with Nesta. Is Nesta still connected to this cauldron or is she not anymore because it's completely different? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to keep reading the books to find out. But, um, oh, um, Lucian and Elaine, the mating bond. Um, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, Elaine does nothing for me. She's got zero personality. She don't bring nothing to the table for me. Uh, I understand that she's beautiful. <laughs> okay. She's pretty. <laughs> I don't give a shit. She didn't, she doesn't do much for me. So I, I actually don't like that she's mated with Lucian because I love Lucian he's one of my main men him and Tarquin and Asriel they're my three favorite men in this they're my favorite um and so you know Lucian he's got he's great he's got the swag he's got the sense of humor I mean even in book one I liked him more than Tamlin um and so I really like him I think he's a great guy and and I love the fact that he, Baron, is not his dad. <laughs> I mean, he's great. He's Everything about him is great. So I don't really, I feel like he can do so much better than Elaine. Um, so I don't, I don't like that mating bond. But we'll see because I know Rysand and Feyre have talked about, um, you know, people being able to reject a mating bond. So maybe, maybe it'll be rejected. But again, even if it's rejected, I don't want to see Azriel with Elaine either. Like, I don't want them together either because he doesn't deserve Elaine either. He's better than her, in my opinion. <laughs> and, I mean, what are the chances? What are the chances that the three Archeron sisters end up with the three Bat Boys? Like, come on. I mean, there's there's got to be, you know, this it's big. They, they got to branch out more, I feel like. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, what else? Mating bond. Nesta and Cassian. I'm sure they have one. I'm sure they have one. They're totally drawn to each other. They're obsessed with each other. So um, it hasn't been confirmed, but I'm sure in, I've heard book five is all about Nesta. Um, I'm very much looking forward to reading that book because right now I can't stand that bitch. I can't stand that bitch Nesta. She's, she's, I mean, she's insufferable. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with her. She's, every time that she's in in a scene all she's doing is like glaring at somebody like and not talking she she, she but um, I'm hoping that she will become more to I will learn more about her and she'll become more tolerable to me I'm hoping um but uh we'll see I love Cassian though I love Cassian he's great he's great who else is there more how do y'all feel about more because I I don't trust that bitch. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is about more. I can't pinpoint what it is. Um, I know that I should like her, right? She's Rysan's cousin and she's his second in command, right? So the fact that he trusts her so much, I know that I should trust her too. But, you know, I don't know. She's just, she does these things that irk me like for example remember when she had that like bitchy outburst to Nesta and she was like keep your tongue away from Cassian or something like that and I was like oh shit and then and then like the the whole you know she had like 500 years plus to tell Asriel that she liked girls but she ain't into him but she didn't you know, she just, she just never thought it was the right time to tell him. And then she does these horrible things. Like she goes and hooks up with Helion, Helion, whatever. Um, you know, he, she hooks up with him in front of Azriel, And it's like, I don't know. I, she does these things that just are not very nice. And I don't like it. She shows up to these events in these like big red gowns. You know, I know that she's gorgeous, but she's also supposed to be like one of the strongest warriors of all time, right? They're all afraid of the the Morrigan. And I'm like, I can't, I can't like do this. I can't picture this girl wearing these red gowns being this strong warrior. But I, you know, I, I'm trying, I'm trying to understand her more. But right now I'm like, I don't really like her. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully there will be more... 
on her in the future books as well. But let me know your thoughts on more. Maybe she's good. Is she, she, she good? Is she good? Should I like her? I mean, I know she's like Farah's only friend, right? Farah always says, oh, she's the, she's the first friend that I, I have. And so I, I want to like her, but I don't know. I just, I just hate the way she treats Azriel. I can't stand it. I don't, I, I don't, that's my man. He, she cannot do that to him. Okay, what else? What else happened in this book? Oh, the meeting of the High Lords. I loved it. I loved the whole thing. I was so excited to see what the dynamics were going to be between all the High Lords together in the same room. And it just like, it delivered. I loved it. I loved it. Fucking Tamlin showed up. It was hilarious. Um, and I loved, I loved Tarquin. I already said that before. I think he's just like such a good man. Um, so I like him. I liked all of them, actually. Even the winter court guy. Oh, and his wife, Vivian. I loved her. She reminds me of me. I'm, like, totally like that. Like, I'm just... I I, I love Vivian. She was one of the girls that I was like, yeah, this is my girl. Like, if I had friends, Vivian would be my friend. So I liked her. Um, and, and we'll see about Eris. Eris is another one where I feel like he might be good. You know, he's kind of growing on me. I know we're supposed to hate him. I we're not, we're supposed to hate Baron's sons, but I feel like you know, there are I don't know. We'll see. I feel like he's going to end up being good. I don't know. I I have this feeling that he's not all that bad. And speaking of not all that bad, Tamlin. I know it's an unpopular opinion. I know you guys all hate Tamlin, Tamlin, Tampon, whatever you hate him, but I don't, I don't hate him. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't call myself team Tamlin or anything like that. I'm team Rice Man all the way, but I think that deep down Tamlin is not a bad guy. I think he has some major issues that he needs to work through. I think that, you know, he's dealt with family trauma. He never even wanted to be high lord ever in the first place and you know there th he's got some issues but you know he definitely tried to redeem himself a couple times in this book you know he helped them escape with Elaine from the Highburn camp and he helped save bring Rysan back he you know, he has shown a couple soft sides of him, and I'm really curious to see. I would love, I would love a Tamlin book. I would love, I would love to learn more about him, um, and I want to see him, I want to see him end up being the good guy, but we'll see. We'll see. I know it's an unpopular, I know you guys all fucking hate him. I know you guys do. Anyway, those are my thoughts on book three. I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Um, I maybe did I miss anything? Did I miss anything that happened? Anything else that happened in the book? I don't know. I did look at the next book. It's very, very short. Um, so I don't know what that's about. Uh, I feel like I can finish it in like one afternoon, but I heard the book after that is spicy. It's good. So I'm very much looking forward to, um, reading that last book. So, um, anyway, I loved it. I loved it. Thank you, SJM.